Ready? Barry, when did you know that you had the goods to play in the majors? Probably in college. Probably at my sophomore year of college. Are great players like you born or are they made? A little bit of both. Pretty good genes you come from. I think Pete Rose was made. I think I was born with it. Pete Rose made itself. You know, he made himself. He wasn't like the greatest athlete in the world, though, but he, he, he got the best out of himself. He's the greatest hitter, though. You think so? Pete Rose, know. greatest hitter? And unless you have more hits than him, you're not greater <laughs> than him. I don't care who it is. Tony Gwynn to me is the next best hitter. Take you back to Pittsburgh, the outfield of you, Bobby Bowe, and Van Slyke, one of the greatest of all time? I don't know if it's the greatest of all times. I mean, when you look at back, when you look at my father, Willie Mays, Matthews, Maddox, you know, George Foster, you know, when you look at the Red Machine, then you look, you, you can go back to the Dodgers eras and stuff. Um, can you, I don't know if you could say that Clemente, um, Pirates at the time, you could say that we were a good team at the time. There always will be someone better later. What will determine when you leave the game? My own? Me. I'll determine that. The game won't determine that for me. I'll determine that. How important are the stats, the certain plateaus, 500 home runs, 500 steals? It's important because I'm close, you know. I, I didn't think I would get there, and I didn't think I would get this close, so I'm, I'm very close, and, you know, why not go for it? Why not? 600 is kind of like far away. I don't, I don't know if I'll be around that long. But everyone sits there and says, you know, if you do 500, 500, some of you, why would you quit the people? You know, why would you quit the game? You're cheating again. I'm not. If, if they didn't want me anymore, they would release me and no one would say anything. You know, so it's just me being able to leave in my own terms. Tell me about the significance of the earring and its uh, relationship to your grandfather. Well, my grandfather passed away when I was in high school. I just graduated high school and went to college. And um, my, my grandmother gave me a cross and I wore it on my chest. And every time I dove, I, I always broke the chain or it stuck me, so I put it in my ear. All right, thanks a lot. I know and you got a lot. for my grandmother, so she's really ill and stuff. And she, she might not make it long after now. So they both go together. I love them both. All right, fair enough. You're a good family man. Appreciate very much you being with us. Thank you.